is also specially designed. It has a couple different features. Hear that ratchet? Yeah. That's what's called automatic locking retract. What that means is you can put anything in seat, car seat, boxes with glass, anything you need to. Pull it all the way out. Once it starts ratcheting, it'll lock in that place and it won't move. It has emergency locking retractor. So when you're buckled up, if you get hit in the back, it just locks up right away so that you can't go forward. Okay? I'm sure you can see the advantage in that kind of feature. You have these side guides. They're comfort guides for you to put on your seat. Now most people in the back don't buckle up because of how high the seat belt rides on their chest. It rides across a lot of people's necks. Yeah. The advantage to this is you can keep it lower on your chest, make for a more comfortable ride. You'll find more people are going to buckle up inside the back of your new car because of the comfort. Yeah. I'm sure you can see the advantage in that safety feature. Yeah. You notice how the back of the front seats are curved. So a taller person such as yourself has more leg room leaving with the seat back. Yeah. I'm sure you can see the just pattern later. Great. Now, if you don't mind, come on on out. Oh. I'll show you the more features. One thing Toyota has done, all their gas caps are the same. So if you were to lose a gas cap, it would be easy to find a new one. Just go into the Toyota dealer and say, hey, I need a gas cap. No, okay, what's your VIN number? No, okay, what model is it? Yeah. They're all one size fits all. That's good. Okay. They also have a nice feature, for example, I'll show you, it's a, uh, it's what it is. If you take and measure this gap in the car, right there, mm -hmm. okay, if we take this to every gap on the car, it's going to be the exact same. That's, that's cool. The reason Toyota has done that, it looks better, Yeah. it also keeps all the panels fitting together closely, you get less road noise, more aerodynamics, and it has a nice fit and finish look. Yeah. Now when you think about it, something like that that Toyota does, they take more that much time, precision, and there's something as simple as that, how much time do you think they put into something like safety? A lot. Right. Now as you come around to the back, let me show you a few more things. This is one of the things that stands out from uh, Toyota and Honda. One of some of the things you want to look for. Okay. The back seats are different. Honda, you have one back seat that folds down. Okay. This is a 60-40 split, so you can fold down one side of the back, store stuff through if you're shopping for Christmas, birthday shopping, and these right. stuff are going to them, and still have room for two people to ride in the back seat with you. That looks a lot bigger than the on that cord. It's a little bit bigger, yes sir, you have more storage room, yeah. as well as the fact that these corners are also rounded. The advantage is when you're loading from the inside, from the side, you're not hitting your head on a corner. Done that before. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. The hood opens up at 490 degrees, so you're not hitting your head when you put stuff in. The trunk latch is recessed, so when you're climbing in the back to get stuff out of the very back, you're not ripping your clothes on your trunk latch. Okay. Also, you have your emergency trunk release right here. All right. So if anyone gets locked in the back playing around kids, get this will actually flow in the dark. You can pop it, trunk pops open. Good to go. That's good. And insulation on the trunk. Now, it gives it a lot better look. This is one of the things that's different from Honda as well. It gives you a lot better look. Yeah. It looks finished. It also insulates from any road noise. Yeah. It makes for a quieter ride. This is one of the things we found different than Honda as well. Notice wherever I put the trunk, it stops. Yep. With, cool. with the cord, mm -hmm. we actually did this, and it came back in once. <laughs> and that's not a very nice feature. I'm sure that's something you want to try to avoid, Absolutely. correct? Yes, sitting in the head many times. Correct. And I'll show you one more little feature that Toyota has put a lot of thought into, and it's this. And this back mat will actually pull completely out. So if you get a flat tire, you can pull this out if you're dressed up nice like you are today. Pull that out, get down on the ground, take your tire off. Okay. I'm sure you can see the advantage in that. Yep. Great. Right. Let me show you something else. Before I put this mat in, you have this fair tire on the back. Here. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, one thing Toyota has done that they put quite a bit of thought into is the valve stem. They have the valve stem facing up. The advantage is when you're putting air in the tires of your car, you can easily check your tire pressure without having to take your spare tire out. Do you okay. see the convenience in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. 
This tire being hit here, this car was designed with this tire here for a reason. This tire acts as a crumple zone, like I told you in the front and the back of this car have. This acts as a crumple zone as well to absorb any impact, which helps give this a five-star rating on rear crash test. Okay. And I know safety was important to me. Great. Let me show you a few more features on this car. If you don't mind, go ahead and close that trunk. Walk around to the side. This is where you get the majority of the damage on your cars. Okay. And right here, it's a little bit of a blind spot for most people, um, depending on where your seat's positioned and your mirrors are positioned. Toyota has designed what's called a beta pad right here. So go ahead and tap it. Notice how it doesn't dent easily. Yep. Just to help keep your car looking dry. If you don't mind having a seat, passenger side, I'll go over some of the interior features with you. Show you how this works as well. You have a height adjustment here to make for a more comfortable ride for you as well. If you don't mind, go ahead and hooking that up. I'll be right around the other side. I'll go over some of the features with you in here real quick. This is an automatic transmission. Okay. This is as the V6. Now the nice thing about this transmission is it's actually a smart transmission. Okay. It has what's called electronic control transmission. What that means is if you drive this car a certain way, it adapts to how you drive. If you are a lead foot and drive with your foot on the floor all the time, it learns that. If you drive economically, it learns that. If you drive to where you're trying to get the best gas mileage you possibly can, this car will start shifting sooner, so you stay getting the best gas mileage. Okay. Okay. Another re feature it has is you can actually put it right here into the manual mode. Tap up and down as you're shifting, and you can shift through the gears itself. Now the part of, the, of this that works as a smart transmission is, is let's say you're going 60 miles an hour and you downshift, and okay. you're in.